In this video we will see how we can identify the web elements from a web page and we will start from this existing test and by the way I have few videos on my channel about how to create a Selenium project with Python from start to end explaining how to install the requirements, PyTest naming conventions, markers, project structure and all the files and folders we have here so please go ahead and check that if you are interested. Now back to our test file, at the beginning we find the imports needed to implement the tests like PyTest and Selenium. Then we have a test function where we have the following. On the first two lines we have some text messages we need in our test. Then we create a Chrome driver instance, navigate to this Selenium web form page and maximize the browser. Then on lines 15, 16 and 17 we interact with the web elements. And we are setting the message and at the end we are calling the driver quit function. Now let me show you the test flow on Selenium web form page. So the test writes some text in this text area, clicks on submit form button and checks the text is received. We will be looking at traditional locators and first we need to understand what a locator is. So a locator is a way to identify elements on a page or in other words is the argument we pass to the finding element methods. As of now Selenium provides support for 8 traditional locators which are class name, CSS selector, ID, name, link text, partial link text, tag name and of course expat. Those being said let's see how we can identify our first element. Open developer tools by pressing F12. Here click on inspect element button. Position the mouse over the element you want to inspect and as you can see this will highlight the corresponding HTML code in the elements panel. And once you have located the element just click on it, in this case this text area. And now we can view the element HTML structure like tag name, attributes such as ID, class name, href and so on. Or text content if it's available of course. Let's use the name attribute and to verify that this locator is found on the page and that is unique press Ctrl F and search after the attribute or CSS or XPAT. As we can see here we have one of one which confirms the above. We can double check and search the element using a CSS selector. And that's it. Let's look at the code and as we can see the find element function has two parameters. The first one is the locator type which is name and the second one is the value which in this case is my text area. Now we do the same for the next element which is the button. Inspect it, check the HTML structure and here we have the tag name button and the class attribute. So let's use a CSS selector based on the class name. Press Ctrl F and type in dot, which by the way represents a class, followed by the name, which in this case will be button. And if we check the code, we have a by.css selector and the value, which is dot button. And finally, our last element is the received text. Let's inspect it and check the HTML structure. And this time we have a perfect case and we have an ID attribute which is message. Let's verify this and we get back one of one which is great. Or if we want a CSS selector add a hashtag before the ID value just like this. And if we check the code we find the by ID with the given value as a second parameter. And that's it, this is how we can identify the elements, extract the locators and use them in our find element functions. And if we give it a run, everything runs as expected. Thank you very much for your time and see you in the next one. Bye.